You spot anything? Frank, there's a guy on a yellow motorbike riding around Fortune Park. You better check it out. Oh boy. Ho oh, ho oh boy. This is um well you'll see. This is one of my least favorite um uh new missions in the game. Just because well you'll see. Alright, we just gotta get to Fortune Park. Uh, I don't think I ever showed this off, but there's skateboards in here. That, um, you know, they'll make you go a little faster. But, um, they control horribly, and their endurance isn't really that great. Which is probably why I never showed them off in Dead Rising 2. But yeah, you know, if if you want to just get across the Roar Flush Plaza, you know, quicker, you just use this. I think it's going to break soon. Yep, there you go. It's already in the red. Yeah, the, uh, they work okay. I mean, there's some magazines that can make the endurance and I think the controlling a little bit better. But um, overall, I, I don't like using them. I will say there's one thing that I do like about this mission is the uh, music. It's a really great remix of something. Yeah, you can see something over here. I really, really, really don't like this mission. I know that face. Whoa, chill. Okay, sorry. Didn't know it was yours. It's a nice bike, though. Mm, poor Chuck. Hey, sorry, buddy. I thought you were one of those crazies. I just can't trust people anymore. I've been dealing with nut bars all day long. These zombies. They're annoying, sure, but easy to kill. Well, kinda, kinda fun even. The real threat is the people. An outbreak like this does things to men. The violence, death, seeing loved ones die. Change it makes people snap. Just like that. Just when humanity oh, I hate seeing Chuck like this. They turn on each other instead. I've got a daughter to protect. I won't let anything get in my way. Your daughter. Listen, uh, I can take you both back to the safe house. Katie needs her Zombrex every 24 hours. Right, baby? <laughs> Do you know what would happen if she didn't get her Zombrex every day? But I would never let that happen. We still have some time, Katie. I'll find some if it kills me. Hey, look, let's get you and your daughter back to the safe house. Oof, big mistake, Frank. So yeah, now unfortunately we have to fight my favorite character, Chuck. But the music is just awesome, so... I'm going to try and prolong this fight a little bit just so the music can play, because I love it. It's a remix of his theme from... it's like a metal remix of his theme from Dead Rising 2. Now this fight, um... 
obviously replaces the Leon fight from uh, Dead Rising 2. Because, I mean, what would be the point of having two guys on motorcycles? Um, you just use the same techniques, pretty much. I, I exploited that one trick in the uh, Leon fight in Dead Rising 2. But, you know, you can just, um, if you stand out here, here, he'll eventually crash into the gates. And then, you know, you can hit him with your buster. Or whatever weapons you're using. Let's see, where is he? Here he comes. Here comes Chuck. Chuck has a few different attacks other than, um, Leon. I think he uses Molotovs. But I've always beaten him before he can use them. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. What is he doing over there? Yeah. Hey, Chuck. Stop doing donuts. Yeah, there's a Molotov right there. Oh, we just killed Chuck. I don't like that. Not one bit. I wish they'd come up with something a little better for Frank to say there. And yeah, it's kind of implied that um Okay, this place is nuts. It's kind of implied that Chuck didn't really die, but we never see him again, so I swear I met that guy somewhere before. <laughs> All right, so I think Chuck deserves his own video, so uh, we'll end it now, and here's some foreshadowing for the new area in the game, so uh, see you later.